Good morning, Tahmina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, we will solve a question on linear combination of random variable, which is a past paper question, and it will help you to revise the concept as well. It's a very good question. Um, you can see here my blog address, which is here, and you can find many other videos on the topic over this site. So let's just start with the question. So if you see in the question, they are talking about a box of fruity flakes and in that there are x gra grams of flakes and y grams of fruit and x and y are independent variable and the distribution is such that 400 mean and 50 variance is for flakes and 100 mean and 20 variance is for fruit which I have written here you can see in green and blue and green and red so i have just written here in the mathematical notation which is normal distribution and what else is given here in the question that the weight of each box when it is empty because these things are put in the box so the weight of the box is 20 gram exactly okay so i have written here in black weight of each box is exactly 20 gram a full box of fruity flakes is cho chosen as at random so of course when you are selecting a box it is the weight of the box it is the weight of the fruits and it is the weight of the flakes so there are two parts of the question the first part is find the probability that the total weight of the box and its contents is less than 530 gram so basically question is talking about probability of now let me call because he's talking about total weight so t is less than 530 gram now the question is do you have the distribution for total weight because this blue and red distribution is individually for flakes and fruit so basically you have to find it out which you can use here in this question so how will you do that let's see let's t is equals to the weight of the box plus the weight of the flakes and fruits i have to find out its mean and variance right so for the mean let's find out mean first Achha, by the way let me tell you here if i want to write out about box let me choose another color so i can say that for box suppose mean is 20 and variance is zero the question may come in your mind ki why variance is zero so i'll tell you in a while okay just hold on for a minute suppose it is a hook hook, uh, hook concept hook concept or hook question is one where we get stuck and we do not find the solution so just hold on for a minute that how did i write here for box okay how did i write here for box that this is my mean and this is my variance let's see okay so for example this is a constant okay so when i will find out the mean of t i will basically find out the mean of this agreed so it will be mean of p b is box i'm this is my abbreviation i'm using it's not in the question and mean of x plus mean of y so mean of b is equals to 20 mean of x i can get from here 400 and mean of y is 100 so it will become 520 agreed so let me explain to you here first of all now you must know that in the linear equation i'm just taking random example when you have to find out the mean of this okay what do you write here do you write like this this formula is given in mf19 also so it becomes a times mean of x and mean of a constant is that constant and you know why it is so which i'm taking it like this for example suppose there are five numbers okay and all are same let me change numbers some other thing five numbers which are these one two three four five if i ask you okay, find out the mean of these numbers because they are all same so what will be the mean of these numbers mean of these number will be six so that shows that mean of a constant number which is same is same that number and the box weight here in this question is 20 gram 
so as many box you will pick up it will remain 20 so that's why mean of 20 will remain 20 okay this is the reason behind it now if i ask you what is the variance of this you know variance means how much it is deviating from the mean so if you will take out the variance of this there is no variation there is no difference so variance of this will be zero in my another video i will explain this concept into more detail with the help of more examples but right now if you see you don't notice any differences between the number because variance is how much it is deviating from the mean so now it means the variance of a constant number will be zero so that's why when i'm talking about the box which has 20 gram exact weight the variance of it will be zero okay so let's find out the variance now okay so let me change the color okay so now i will find out the variance of t i need mean and variance so that i can solve this question so now it will be variance of b plus x plus y which is equals to variance of b plus variance of x plus variance of y i said by the way this much detail i'm giving you just to explain it to you in the exam you don't need to write all this you can use very quickly on the calculator you know and write directly this thing with this this is just for the sake of explanation so variance of x is 50 and variance of y is 20 which is equals to 70 so with this what did i get i got that the random uh, sorry normal distribution for the total weight will be 5 20 and 70 right so now i will use this distribution to calculate this probability okay so now probability of now i will change t into z okay and you know what z is do you remember z is equals to x minus mu over this okay sigma which is a standard deviation so i will write 530 minus 520 divided by root 70 so this way i will get the value of okay now let me use a calculator for that hmm, okay so it is one one point one nine five now i think all of you know how to use the standardized table for normal distribution and you can get the probability now just for the sake to give you a visual of what does it mean you know for the z this is zero and here you have plus value here you have minus values 1.195 is basically plus values it is somewhere here i don't know exactly where so you can use the table to get this probability so using the table i can write 0 0.884 so this is my answer for part one now part two of the question is saying find the probability that the weight of flakes in the box is more than 4.5 times i'm reading this line the weight of the fruit so flakes i represented by x fruits i represented by y so this means now i have to find out for part 2 probability of x greater than 1.4 times of y okay let me show you this question again here the weight of flakes in the box is more than 4.5 or oh sorry 4.1 times the weight of the fruit okay so i got this equation um this inequality here but what does it mean if i bring it all to one side okay so i now need to find out the normal distribution for this like i found out here for t for the total weight now this is my thing i have to find out okay so let's start finding it out on the right hand side and then on the left side we will calculate the probability so let me take here let w is equals to x minus 1.4 y okay so now i have to find out mean of w and variance of w which is actually mean of this again i'm writing all this into detail to explain it to you okay 
So it will be mean of x minus mean of 1.4y. So mean of x we already have from here. It is 400. Okay. And mean of y was 100. Okay. So mean of x is 400. By the way, you know, in the mean of linear function, it is 1.4 times mean of y. Right. So it will be 400 minus 1.4 times 100, which is equal to, which is equals to minus 10. So you got the mean minus 10 for your new variable w. So instead of this, I can write here w greater than 0. Okay, because my w is representing this thing. Now let's find out the variance of it. Okay, so variance of w. Let me change the color so that it looks, it looks prominent. It will be equals to variance of x minus 1.4 y. So it is variance of x. I'm sure you know that when you have uh, subtraction uh, between the independent um, variable variances, even then you add it. And that is equals to variance of 1.4 y. Now variance of x was 50 and variance of y was 20 here. Okay. So variance of x is 50. And I'm sure you know okay, when there is a multiplication case, it becomes a square. In one of my video, um, if you have subscribed me, you will get it because after this video, I'll make it to explain why it is a square because some students ask the reason for that. So I thought why not explain that thing as well. Okay. So now it is pick up the calculator. Mm, okay. So it is 386.2. So I have gotten here the distribution, okay? So which is for W, the distribution is minus 10 comma 386.2, okay? So now we will continue this question which we were doing here. This was our question. So I will change W into Z and you know Z is equals to X minus mean now my mean is here minus 10 and my variance is 386 so I will take a square root of it okay so now let's do it on the calculator what it is equals to give me a second okay so it is 0 0.509 now what does this mean if you want to visualize right I always say to my students always visualize or draw roughly so that chances of error can be reduced. We know this side is plus z, this side is minus z. Right now it is plus. So it means I will take it somewhere here, for example, 0 0.509. According to question, I have to find out this area, which is my probability. And you know, when you read the table, you get the area of the left hand side. So basically to solve this question, I will do what? This thing left hand side area I'll subtract from 1 so 1 minus you will read this in the table and in the table it is 0 0.6946 okay I hope table all of you know how to watch if you don't write in the comment and I'll teach that as well okay so answer is coming 0 0.3054 so this is my probability so please um, share it with your friends, press like and subscribe button and thank you very much for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.